Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're talking about Destiny specifically. We're going to be looking at the TWAB. Now, I've already read this and I'm already mad, but let's go through it again because that sounds like fun. So I'm not going to waste my time with everything they said beforehand. So let's just get right into it. Is Nagi's burden since the removal of... Ugh. Since the removal of auto reloads effects from Rally Barricade and Lunar Faction boots, as well as the introduction of a catalyst for Izanagi's Burden, it's seen a significant uptick in use. Izanagi's Burden solidified itself with a majority of endgame builds due to its excellent burst damage, sustained damage, ammo economy due to special ammo, and safety due to being a sniper rifle. The outlaw trait was swapped out for no distractions to be more in line with the fantasy of the weapon and to ensure the trait. Uh, on the weapon would still work with hone edged the animation speed of hone edge is now no longer affected by the reload stat and outlaw has been replaced with no distractions so i thoroughly hate this change it's fucking just stupid it like the outlaw with no distractions is just the dumbest change in my opinion sure we didn't use outlaw that much because we would kill like you know bosses without with izanagi's but if i was killing majors and whatnot that outlaw came in clutch so no distractions cool i'm gonna use it all of like maybe for the one shot when i start doing boss damage but it's <laughs> it's so dumb it's such a odd change like no distractions i can see why they thought oh yeah no distraction on izanagi's would be good but like it's a like I don't think they know how people use his anagis, I guess, because once for me at least, when I was doing boss damage, get the headshot, reload, uh <clears throat> run so I can distract the reloads uh animation and then just aim. And I my aiming's not that aiming's not hard, bro. Just like shoot the head, do it all do rinse and repeat. So the other thing is like the animation for owned edge is not is not a reload stat anymore like what the f what excuse me so now i have to like stand like just stand there waiting for this animation reload to beat like i hate i hate this change like it's just like why like why 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 why, why do that and i know a lot of people are going to be like oh because a lot of people are using izanagi's burden yeah i yeah it's because no one's no one's using anything else because nothing's worth it uh I'm gonna go with. The, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about Izanagi's burden uh, nerf in another video because I have a lot, a lot to say about it and a lot of like things that could fix Izanagi's burden with why people use it so much. So I'm gonna have to calm myself down because the next one I'm gonna get mad again. So sniper rifles. We gave sniper rifles an increase in PVE damage back in Shadow Keep. We're removing that change for a few reasons. Sniper rifles have a lot of utility and safety due to their range and increased damage was giving them too much of a leg up on their closer range counterparts. That gulf only widens as the difficulty of any encounter go up. The direct changes to adaptive and rapid fire snipers were to make the difference in the sub archetypes more impactful again, as well as to give some amount of parity with the adjustments to shotguns and fusion rifles. Damage to majors, enemies, and above have been reduced to, to pre-shadow keep values, which is 20%. Adaptive sniper precision multiplier has been reduced from 3.25 to 2.95. Rapid fire sniper's base impact has been reduced from 100 to 90. So, okay, so here, here is where I have issues with this. It's the fact that. <clears throat> It's the fact that I actually have Destiny on right now, so I can show you a few things. Let me see. This one is probably one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game right now. Uh, what's it called again? Soul Survival, Soul Survivor, and Tranquility. And as you, you guys can see, I have Firing Line on both of them. This was good. Like. If I was using, let's say, for some odd reason, I wasn't using the Zanagis and I was just trying to chill and have fun, this is what I would use. Obviously, I can't show you the damage because no, I don't have a fire team, but it was awesome having two sniper rifles, one on my 
primary and one on my secondary with firing line. You know why people were, were using so many, like, do you see a fusion rifle here? Do you see a shotgun for PVE here? No, I have one for here for PVE, but you know, not this, this is PVP. You know why? Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it to use a shotgun or a fusion rifle. I don't know who the fuck uses fusion rifles, but why would you use one? Is it's, there's no damage and for shotguns, the, the, the risk is so high. It's just, it's ridiculous. Like, oh, we want people to use fusions and shotguns. Make them good then. I, they're garbage. <laughs> I'm still going to use sniper rifles. This is just going to piss me off. Like, it's, it's so, it's so funny to me. It really is. So this is a stupid change in my opinion. Uh, just, you literally just put snipers all the way to where shotguns and fusion rifles are. Why don't you just buff? shotguns and fusion rifles give fusion rifles something that makes them good in pve or a damage buff uh shotguns actually shotguns is a little bit more different shotguns unfortunately are victim to the game's design like a good example is what the fuck are you going to use for the last boss in garden of salvation you ain't going to use shotguns you're not going to use a fusion rifle obviously you're going to use a sniper rifle obviously like i don't even this, this is what pisses me off, is that they want us to use more shotguns, more fusion rifles, more variety, quote-unquote. But the, the design that they have for a lot of bosses don't allow that. Like, shotguns, for example. You're really going to tell me you're going to go up to a raid boss with a shotgun and be like, Alright, guys, I got this. And I'm not talking about, oh, one-two punch. That's an outlier. I'm talking about, like, trench barrel. You're really going to use trench barrel on a shock, or on a boss? Really? You're going to do that? If it was reverted back to how it was because now we don't have auto loading or auto loading uh abilities anymore then yeah dope i would probably use it but then again they have ground slams they have a bunch of shit that just makes them push me away so at the at that point what what's the point it's not this problem is more of a bungee you need to fix your own mechanics before you start neutering our weapons because Grenade launchers are also getting nerfed, so let's look at that. Three combination of archetype adjustments and new perks being introduced. Grenade launchers have been quite powerful ever since Season of the Drifter. We've changed the aggressive frame sub archetype to the rapid fire archetype to be more in line with other weapons established conventions and slightly reduce their effectiveness on powerful enemies to give other weapons some more breathing room. Aggressive frame grenade launchers are now rapid frame uh, grenade launchers, rapid frame basically it's getting nerfed you, you guys can read it right now damage to major enemies and and above by power power weapon grenade launchers reduced by 10 percent. this is a nerf but people are still going to use grenade launchers ain't no fucking way in hell is anyone using a rocket launcher they're garbage bro they've been garbage since they got nerfed like this is what makes me laugh it's just that well we're nerfing a lot of stuff because you guys are using it too much it's like yeah yeah, yeah but there's no competition that's why we were just using this there's no competition anywhere else i don't understand the the mindset of like let's just like just let's just neuter everything to the level of every other weapon and then the variety will come it's like no like i'm still gonna use sniper rifles i'm still gonna use grenade launchers and i'm still gonna use whatever else for my primary like i don't understand where this like idea is coming from you guys are not making shotguns worth it you guys are not making fusion rifles worth it you guys are not making rocket launchers worth it damn i'm first I, like i know for fuck sure i'm not using a sword next season like it's there's no reason for me to use any of those things when your game design is literally telling me to like just sit back in the corner with a sh with a sniper rifle like bungee bungo baby fix the fix your game design and then maybe i'll use a shotgun maybe give me a boss that doesn't ground slam every five seconds then yeah oh shit maybe i can use a shotgun here that's the thing like i mm, i don't know man i don't know like let me know in the comments below what you guys think i think these changes are just like really fucking weird like what so last word i'm not gonna read the whole thing it's basically saying that uh <clears throat> the accuracy is significantly reduced when release the wolves is active that's cool i don't really have a 
problem with Lord of Wolves. I know people, I play on PC, so I'm like aware that it's a problem in PC, but I rarely see it. And when I do, I uh, I stay away. <laughs> I like to keep my distance. I don't know. I, I'm not saying Lord of Wolves isn't broken. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, I think people are overreacting a little. But I have seen a lot of uh, Fallout plays, uh, a lot of his shit when it comes to Lord of Wolves. So maybe, uh, actually, I haven't played much of Destiny 2 for a while. So maybe I'll shit shut the fuck up. So the last word, there's a lot of shit here that is basically all comes up to you aiming down on this gun is garbage, like super garbage. It's just going to go back to how it used to be where it's you have to shoot it from the hip i think these are good changes i think last word was way too fucking strong it like like me someone who what i actually got the last word in destiny one that was one of my first exotic bounties and i was pretty garbage at it at the with it when the, when i got it so the fact that i got it again here and i was roasting people yeah that was a problem because i I had no business being that good with that gun. So, shotguns. This is honestly, I still don't know what the fuck this is. So, essentially, the cone angle is now being adjusted per archetype, which means that the range stat is just null and void, I guess. Like, there, we don't care about the range stat anymore, which means that my, actually, let's go to this. My Mindbender's Ambition has really garbage range but if the aggressive frame has a good uh accuracy chrome actor accuracy accuracy cone there we go then maybe this could be an actually good roll question mark that's that's the, one of the things that i just confuses me like you're telling me that the intrinsic like barrel i'm, I'm not i'm sorry not barrel but the frame is what makes the range now it's just a lot of changes and i'm like i mean like that's cool but like what the fuck like makes me just confused a little fusion rifles basically the only one you got to really look at is backup plan backup plan now adjusts impact to match the rapid fire subtype subtype sub archetype while active and charge time is now set to match the rapid fire sub archetype 0 0.85 while active so uh backup plan got neutered so for me honestly i feel like backup plan this is probably gonna sound really fucked up and like i like uh fusion rifles but i feel like backup plan should not have changed but but but, but before you guys start fucking angrily typing in the comments i think they should have introduced fusion rifles in the heavy slot that did have backup plan that's like if Arantel became a heavy, like a heavy fusion rifle, like variant or something, that would have been dope. I would have been happy with that because backup plan, I think needs to one tap. Like it needs to, I don't know. I'm from destiny one dog and I remember backup plan. And I feel like as an, as an exotic or in the heavy slot, that would have been fine, but whatever. That's just my opinion. Like I would have been fine if they put Arantel in the heavy slot or made it an exotic or something like backup uh, for, like i said for me backup plan just why would you use backup plan at this point like i don't know i'm really i'm really like all over the place with this specific uh nerf because on one hand it's backup plan is fucking just it destroys games it really does on the other hand, it's backup plan. It was an it was an exotic perk in Destiny One. That's I think that's why I'm a little conflicted about this because it was an exotic from Destiny One that not like a lot of people did use it, but not like Destiny One's PvP was a little bit more different. It was a little bit more diverse than how it is now in Destiny Two. But that's just me. Auto rifles basically are getting a buff. You guys can see all the buffs they're getting. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have a fucking auto rifle meta next season for PvP at least. We have a lot of weapons that are going to be fucking filthy. And honestly, I don't really mind it. I like auto rifles. I just don't think they've been worth it for a while. And this hopefully will bring them up so that people can actually use them outside of PvP as well. 
like i'm not gonna lie to you guys a lot of these changes i'm just very like what the fuck is your thought process like we no one asked for any of these changes obviously people asked for like maybe the last word and fusion rifles but the snipers is nagis uh shotguns auto rifles no one asked for those you know what they were asking for 110s and 140s can you look at that 180s anything that's on that's not a 150 hand cannon what like bro you know how wild it is that people me myself included have been wanting to use 110s 140s 180s for a long time but because they're not 150s they're not worth it i saw cami cami cakes did a really good fucking video explaining that a really good buff would just to be increase the range on each archetype so like i think he said that 110s should have the most range fucking awesome yeah i totally think that's amazing because that would make enough difference like a 150 is like what 30 30 yards 30 yards that's wrong 30 um whatever fucking whatever he said that like 110 should get like 10 or something i don't know i'm I love I love the idea because you can't just increase their damage because at that point people would just use one tens like it would be amazing if they got the range buff because then people would be like well what do I value more uh, being this close to an enemy or being that far to an enemy because I can guarantee you people who are aggressive would use 150 still because you'd be closer to your enemy and you'd probably be using shotgun at that point but if like for me I would have a hand cannon with like maybe a sniper i would value more the 110 that's just me though so these changes are uh garbage i hate all of them except some mostly because i don't like the constant we're nerfing this because you're you're using it too much it's we're using it because there's nothing else like i promise you bungie if there was a fusion rifle that was worth it i would fucking use it i would use a shotgun that was worth it there's nothing that's worth it right now even one two punch without an exotic is just kind of like eh like whatever that's like i i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below but yeah that's me i'm a little bit annoyed right now so if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support if you could like the video comment and subscribe i re really appreciate it and other than that i will see you guys later